is the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz brought to you by Car Giant Auto Group. Welcome back, everyone. It's the postseason. We got a guy who knows a lot about winning in the postseason. Manny head coach Jess Curtis with us tonight on the Friday Night Blitz. Thanks so much for staying up with us. And, coach, the postseason, every year we see it, some major round one upsets. Tough to remember a bigger one tonight than Houghton over Airline, the Bucks. Coach Brotherton, it's been a tough couple of years for the Buccaneers. It's all worth it, I mean, after tonight, because they, they've been building towards this Colin Reigns with a huge performance, and this Buccaneer defense, finally, somebody finds a way to slow down the airline offense. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, Coach Brotherton, we played him early in the year, and you could see that, you know, with, with Reigns, uh, the quarterback, that they had something there. Yeah. And, and having this rain come in, this wind come in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you just driving up there, I was thinking, Halton's got a shot in this. I mean, you're happy for Coach Brotherton. He's run a good program. You're glad to see him get this win and have a home playoff game and a chance to go to the quarterfinals. And then, Co yeah, Coach, you hear us say this all the time. It's so hard to beat <clears throat> teams twice. Yes. Yes. You've been in this situation where you've played Absolutely. teams in your district in the postseason again. If you can, how, how much truth uh, is there to that? That's tough. We played the Vols last year in district. We beat them, and then we had to play them in the semifinals, and it's tough. But you don't want to do that, especially when you're a favorite. You know, if you're an underdog, I've been that guy when, uh, you know, we were a 21 seed and ended up beating Winfield, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you never want to be the under, you never want to be the favorite when you play that district guy in the playoff. Man, what a win it was for Houghton. We'll see what happens now. They get an East St. John team in round two. They only won by one point tonight. So they're at home. They're between the pines. Anything can happen there. We've seen playoff magic there before. We'll see if they can get it done. Let's stay in 1-5A. Benton and Ponchatoula, this Green Wave team, played for a uh, state championship last year. The Tigers with a complete performance. We've seen them score a lot of points, but we've also seen them give up a lot of points. They look to be playing their best football at the right time. They are. Reynolds Moore does a great job. You know, he's, he's a great offensive mind, and, and they've put up points uh, like a, you know, uh, you know video game yeah. numbers, John Madden numbers, and, uh, you know, just happy for them. You know, but today, tonight, their defense showed up, and that's 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 good news for them as well. Yeah. Because again, this time of year, defense wins championships. Exactly. So, coach, earlier in the season, you guys had a common opponent. You played Newman. You got to probably watch that game on film. Just from what you've been able to see the last couple of weeks, is the biggest maybe difference in Benton over the course of the last two weeks is that defensive improvement. What is it that, that you're seeing? What I've seen in highlights is that defensive improvement, you know, and that's what you do as a staff and as a team and as the year grows and matures, you know, those are the things that you need to see, especially if you want to play, if you want to play in December, your defense has to step up and, and stand tall. Everybody all year talked about airline and they deservedly got most of the attention with that undefeated record. Benton with just one district loss, the Tigers are hot. They get another big win tonight in the postseason. Logan Sport, another team that was in the Dome last year, looking to avenge that loss to Homer. Seven seed this year for the Tigers. Coach, when you enter the playoffs in a situation like Logan Sport, I feel like they're flying under the radar. Is that a benefit, you think? I think it is. You know, you want to be an underdog, you know, especially when you're as good as Logan Sport. I mean, you're talking about a team that was a favorite to win it last year, went to New Orleans, and, and now they have this new... Uh, division they're playing in, and so people are kind of talking about other people. I think yeah, I think Coach McGee either. likes where he's at. Yeah. I would. I right. mean, I love being an underdog. Yeah. You know, and I, I know Coach McGee, and I know the talent he has. And I think he likes where he lays. So Logan Sport, they do their job tonight. They've really been doing it for the better part of this year. But like I said, they're kind of flying under the radar because of some other teams in what is going to be a very entertaining bracket to follow. Logan Sport, moving on. We'll have more with Jess Curtis, but first, before we go to break, let's take a look at some scores in Louisiana. Captain Shreve, Coach Kirby, first year at the helm, got a playoff win. The Gators over Tioga on the road, 36-27. Red River hung with Rosepine for a while before the Eagles pulled away, 34-6. Wesley Boone, how about those Mustangs? 60 to zip over Lakeside, and Gina takes down Mansfield, 26-8. But stay in Louisiana. Haynesville, big win tonight for the Golden Tornado, 44-6 over East Iberville. Arcadia, 26 to nothing over Lake Arthur. Lincoln Prep, their season comes to a close. They fall to Ascension Catholic, 49-6. And we just showed you these highlights. Benton, big win over Pachatula, 41-7. We'll talk Manny football. Yes, Curtis, after the break.